Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video, I am going to be testing out the new Soph X palette. If anyone didn't know, Sophie here on YouTube is Soph Does Nails. She has come out with her second volume two um, eyeshadow palette. So volume one, her eyeshadow palette was very, very good. Um, I always find that Revolution Beauty, their products are just, they're just insane. Everyone knows how I feel about Revolution Beauty. But with Revolution, their products just keep coming out. They keep coming out with more and more and more. So this one, is her eyeshadow palette. It's got fingerprints all over, which is not, you know. Let me just give it a little scrub it up. So you've got the packaging right here, which is the rose gold, and then you've got the soft matte nude, which says Soap X, and the palette itself is called Extra Spice. Um, I don't know what her other first one was called, actually. I think it might have just been like a volume one, just a normal. But she did want to come out with a different palette, which had a little bit more spice to it. Um, her other palette is quite similar, I do understand that, but they are some different shades in here and I do believe that she has killed it. I think this palette is so versatile, it's really good for every skin tone, um, and yeah, hopefully the formula works out, as you can see on my eyes. It might be good. <laughs> is you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. You've got six foiled um, eyeshadows and then the rest are matte. So all in all, this palette here is what it looks like. Um, obviously, you can see I have got this on me mug, um, but you will see in a minute if you uh, stay tuned. So yeah, these are the colours here. They are so nice, so pigmented. So yeah, that's the palette. And I checked out the little lipstick as well. So I have the lippy on. Before we jump into the video, please can you give this a thumbs up I would really appreciate it and subscribe if you're not already I love seeing all my little new subscribers it makes me happy so yeah if you want to see how I get on testing the eyeshadow palette and the lipstick then please stay tuned I haven't swatched any of the colors yet so I'm looking forward to actually just diving in as you can see I have got my face and base on my eyebrows I have primed my lids and I'm all set to go also I did get one of the lipsticks which she launched which is um here it looks a bit like basically like a MAC uh, lipstick. It's got the rose gold and then the nude matte. And then you've got the lipstick here, which uh, to be honest, this is the lightest shade. I think I bought syrup. And I was a little bit worried. When I first um, opened it, I thought I'd bought the wrong shade. It looks really dark, but I swatched it and it is a lot lighter than what it looks actually on the stick. She's got a little um, engraved moment there, which is Soph X. Um, it's a really, really pretty colour and I'm going to wait to swatch it on my lips. I haven't put it on my lips yet, so I'm going to wait for that. I'm going to go for something a little bit different today, I think. I think I'm going to go and sort of dip into all of them sort of cooler tones. Um, I would do the orange and the reds, but I think everyone has seen them so far. So I'll do something different with this palette. So I feel like I'm going to do something like that and at least it sort of incorporates in my top as well. We'll try it. So what I'm going to first do is dip into cookie dough here. Like I said, I've primed my lids. Um, I just haven't powdered them because I'm gonna try and not powder them and see what difference it makes. So I'm gonna start on cookie dough and just sort of build up. So far, there's not actually a lot of fallout at all on the pan, um, which is really, really good. Obviously, anyone knows that Revolution Beauty or Makeup Revolution, if everyone doesn't know that they've changed their name, um, their products are just insanely pigmented and they do not disappoint. So like with this, you know, you've got, you just know that it's gonna be amazing, really good quality. It blends really, really well and I have no problem blending at the moment. I don't wanna talk it up because that's normally what I do, um, but I'm not having no problem at all. Oh. I can't wait to dip into like because these are all more or less like more earthy sort of colours and I can't wait to drip, dip into the green. It looks really, really cool. What I'm going to quickly do is just pop this under my lash line just so that that is down before we go into anything else. I mean that on its own is beautiful. That on its own is like an everyday kind of look which is really good. I like that one. Okay, what I'm next gonna do is go into Lakes, which is the kind of like 
earthy green, I would say. I don't know. But she did say she named it Lakes because it reminded her of a lake. So, um, of the Lake District, I think. I don't know. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a big old um, flat packing brush. And I'm going to pack it um, on the outer and inner. It will look a little bit crazy to start with. And then we can blend it out. I'm taking that all the way around and then we can blend that line out. I've just noticed I have no fallout at all and I'm packing on this dark colour like no one's business and I've got no fallout. Flipping hell. What I'm going to do is go back into the same brush uh, what I took at the beginning and I'm just going to lightly Take cookie dough and obviously use some of the residue which I had on the brush and then just buff out that line. Just see how well it blends together. I don't want to blend too much because I don't want to actually diffuse the green. I want it to still be pattern. Blend until your arm kills like a bitch. And again, I'm just going to pat it on and just more focus this on the lid than actually um, the crease and I'm just literally packing on the outer corners just so you can really see that green coming through oh yeah that is smoky as hell I'm just going to run this a little bit underneath with the residue I don't want too much of a smoky eye underneath because I know that on top we're going to have a lot going on <laughs> So we don't want to go over the top, do we now? No. As you can see, there is a little bit of fallout just on the palette, but it's nothing too crazy. It's nothing what I worry about. I don't really care for that at all. It doesn't bother me in the slightest. It should do, but it doesn't. I don't really care. I love the fact that you get a really big ass mirror in here. I think that is like a big, big thing, especially for how much this is. So if I didn't say in the beginning, I think I might have said it in the intro, but if I didn't, this was 10 pound virgin. Okay, I'm going to take Enchanted, which is a plum, sort of a burgundy plum, dark purple, whatever you want to call it. And I'm just going to focus this on the outer and inner, right on the lid, just where we put that lake kind of colour. Just so it's really, really deep through the end. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera quickly, just cut my lid. Um, with the L'Oreal Infallible Concealer Pomade. Um, I love this concealer for cutting the lid and I'm basically just going to do more of a halo um, kind of situation and then we're going to go back in with the palette. Okay, so I'm back. The lids are cut really, really badly. I can tell I have not done makeup in so long because I cannot even do a halo cut crease. <sighs> I'll tell you what, when everyone says practice makes perfect, when you haven't done it in so long, because I have been away from my camera, this happens, it's not pretty, it's not good. <sighs> I'm having one of those days today and you just gotta ignore it because it's just, it sucks. It's one of those days. Okay, what I'm gonna do is just to blend them lines in, I'm gonna take Aurora, which is like a khaki green but with a shimmer to it. And I'm gonna take that on a flat brush. I'm gonna take it dry to start with and just see how well it works. And I'm just gonna blend those lines together. Oh, I like this green colour. I like that green colour. That is a really nice colour. So I'm literally just taking it inner and outer just to blend the line of the concealer and then we're going to go in with a nice gold, I think, in the middle. And what I'm going to do now is just take, it's called Reputation, it's like a um, granite black. I'm going to take the tiniest, tiniest bit I'm going to pop that just on the outer corner just to give it a tiny bit of depth with that green. Yep, that's enough. Only like the tiniest bit. Black scares me. When I put it on my eyes, it really scares me. 
I always find I'm going to have like a massive explosion and it's not going to be pretty. I legit just picked up the tissue with my toes. <laughs> I don't know why I admitted that. I have big toes, obviously. Okay, next, for the actual center of my eye, I'm gonna take Dreams, which is a really, really nice kind of champagne-y gold. We have got a really, really yellow gold down here called La Sun, but I kinda wanna go for just a little bit of gold in the middle, I don't want nothing too crazy. So I'm just gonna take that on a flat brush and I'm gonna pop it on the center. Woof, this picks up a lot of product. The foil shades are actually really really good i haven't had to wet my brush which most shimmer shades i actually wet my brush they're not too pressed as well so they are quite like soft when you do it um but they're not too crumbly if that makes sense okay so the eyes are looking a bit weird to be honest with you it's not the eyeshadow it's my technique i have no idea what i was doing um i got a bit carried away so we are just gonna roll with it we're gonna go with what we've got i don't care as long as the palette is good hello freaking luya what I'm next going to do is, now that we have finished the eye, I'm just going to line my lash line with the um, Revolution, I think, Renaissance Flick Eyeliner, I think it's called. It's like a liquid eyeliner, but it's a little pen. It's a really, really good pen, but it's really precise, like, bristle brush. It's really nice. Um, and obviously, sticking with the theme of Revolution, I thought I'd use it. So all I'm doing is just going to line it, just so that my lash band will be hidden. I don't think I'm going to go for a wing today. That liner has gone over that really, really nicely. I didn't think it would because of the foils, but that works a treat. I'm just going to go in with my PS eyeliner from Primark and it's like the nude colour. I'm literally just going to pop it in my waterline and then we're going to get to lashes and mascara. Does anyone else get a really sweaty top lip? I know it's disgusting. I know it's a bit TMI, but... How the frickin' hell do you stop it? Because I get bubbles on my lip and I can't deal with it because it ruins my makeup. <sighs> okay, I'm just gonna whip off camera, do my mascara, which is the Bad Girl Bang from Benefit, and pop on some lashes, and then I will be right back and we will do lip. So you guys, I am back. I have done my lashes, my mascara. Everything is looking so cool right now. I think the lashes really bring it together. I think I looked a hot mess beforehand. I am looking really, really matte, but that's because I need to do my highlighter, and I thought it was only fitting to do the Soph highlighter because it's what this whole video is about, so we might as well do it. Um, this is the highlighter palette, which you can get in Super Jug right now. I think it's like eight or 10 pound. I can't really remember what one it is, um, but you get eight shades. Um, I don't know if you can see that. <laughs> you get eight shades. So basically you've got ranges for every single skin tone, which I think is amazing. Um, and yeah, I don't really know what color I'm gonna go in for. I might go for this end color here, which is more of like the champagne -y kind of gold. There we go. On the Cupid's bow. A little bit over the brow, nothing too crazy. And then what I like to do is just take it on my finger and I'm just gonna pop it down the center of my nose. And then just on the end. I have broken my nail today, so my finger looks like a sausage. But it's too painful to get done it really really hurts so i can't get it done yet um and i hate rock and a broken nail because it looks disgusting <laughs> and my fingers are really really chubby so it looks even worse it looks okay i'm going to take a smaller brush and i'm just going to do my inner corner just to brighten all this up in here wow bang that is major In a corner though, a little bit on the brow, bone. Ooh. I am loving this whole look right now. Okay, so I've zoomed you out, and this is for the lips. So, obviously, as you saw. Um, this is the lip component. This was £4, so really, really affordable. These are satin. They are matte, which I am a lover. Um, I do love matte lip... 
I do love matte lipsticks, but I do find that my lips are so dry at the minute that I think that these satin ones, they do sit a lot nicer on my skin and they are more comfortable. So it just depends your preference, whether you like satin lips, dry lips. <laughs> whether you like satin lips or matte lips, it just depends. But I do find that matte lips do dry my lips. So I'm happy that this is satin. So what I'm gonna do first is I'm going to line my lips quickly um with i'm gonna go in with my nars uh lip liner i can never say the word of this i can never ever say the name it's called heresies heres h y e r e s it's just like a really cool toned brown i'm just gonna pop this on i'm now gonna go in with the lipstick so here it is here it looks so nice um it's like a perfect nude shade and like i said this is in the shade syrup i think there is one called cake and one called fudge i don't know i can't remember um but there are two others one of them is more pinky toned and one of them is a little bit darker than this um but i don't like pinky toned lipsticks and the dark one I wouldn't wear on a daily basis so I want to buy something which I would wear every day and this one is definitely the one I like so let's pop it on as you can see this is the lip it looks really really pretty in life it's a little bit darker than what it is showing up on the camera but i think that is just generally because i'm in these lights and i don't i don't know but it's not dark at all it's like the perfect perfect nude and um, for like an everyday i really really like this and with the combo of the lip liner that is like my perfect nude shade that is what i could wear every single day and this is really comfortable i mean it's really really satin it's kind of like quite slippery it's got a slippery it's got a slip to it but not like a bad way it's really really nice it feels nice on my lips oh i really like it okay so that is done and i'm now going to give you my final all in all for this palette i think sophie done an absolutely amazing job i know from her first palette it was amazing anyway um but i actually i think i like this one better i think i, I like all the colors and the um combination of the colors in this one more than i do the other one i know there was quite a lot of drama about um it being quite similar to her first one but i'm not being funny there's only so many colors you can put in a palette it's not going to be someone inventing a specific shade every single palette you bring out everyone's got a yellow everyone's got a green um you just want to put them colors in there and make it your own palette i think it's a really really good palette she done um and yeah i think she has definitely um she's killed it with this one she definitely has and i love the package on this one i do like the nudes and the rose golds as you can see um but yeah i love this packaging i love the product and for 10 pound i think this is absolutely amazing i do believe if you go into your super drug store i know i think it's not out until like the 20th of june or the 16th of june correct me if i'm wrong i'm pretty sure it's around about the end of june time but you can get this off um revolutionbeauty.com or the super drug website i'm pretty sure this whole palette and the lipstick, I think is perfect. I mean, like I said, the lipstick is four pound. Um, the formula of this palette is just, it's crazy for the for the price tag. I think it is absolutely amazing. I will continue using it. Um, yeah, I think she's done a really good job. I really do. That is it for the video, you guys. Um, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the little review and I hope I've done something a little bit different to maybe what would draw your attention to this palette, which is more of the warmer tones. I'm not quite used to the cool tones on my eyes, but I quite like it now that everything has come together. So um, yeah, take care and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.